Hey there guys, gals, fans and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. On another episode of Tectonica coming at ya. Oh, let's see, what a, what a da ba ba. Last episode we did a lot of power restructuring. We were at like 9 megawatts or something, now we're at 17. Uh, definitely a production boost. We also got the rest of our Kindle Vine stuff transferred, I think it was last episode. Got this built? I don't know. Uh, the episodes, I'm trying to make them a little longer, so sometimes... Hold on, I have to sneeze. There it is. Okay. Sometimes uh, I lose track of what episode we did what. Uh, this game is a lot more of a longer form, so I thought it'd be more appropriate if we kept it a little bit of a longer play. Kind of a thing. Something like that, something like that, something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with all this. Uh, yeah, we opened up a door. We got a bunch of personal research. So that's really cool. Um, I wanted to start up this episode with maybe talking about smelting. Right now, I've got some smelting in a couple of spots. And... Well, actually, I got smelting in one spot, uh, which is fine, but it doesn't really mash with what I want to do long term. We're waiting for the monorail tech, but I haven't started making the blue baubles yet. The science dealies, we haven't made any of that yet. So I don't really have any progress in that direction. Belting all of this raw stuff back home seems annoying. In which case, I'm going to grab all but one stack. Oh, and you are full already again. Good stuff. Take one back. Oh, I can grab from all the machines at the same time. Holy crap. Amazing. Amazing. Just going to grab all this stuff. Uh, do I need any inserters or belts? Uh, I'm gonna grab half a stack of belts. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do here. Grab some resources, grab some floor. I'd like to have one, one massive smelting area and then go from there. Uh, what I might need to do is I might need to do another bootstrap smelt kind of a thing. Is kind of what I'm thinking about. You can take all that. I want two. You can take all that. I want one. I'm going to grab some materials for myself. I want a full stack of these components on me. Uh, all this can go away now. Cool. Uh, we have, we have... Okay, I think that takes care of everything. So, what I have right here is a very long hallway. Okay, the sneezes are just going to be non-stop. Good stuff. <laughs> what I have is a very long hallway here, and what I wanted to do, ultimately, was to find a place where I could do a boatload of smelting and have everything local, right? We got a couple of places here we could actually get some materials on, on lock. So that's no problem. The other thing is we still need biofuel or some sort of organic fuel stuffs. I'll call it, I'll call it fuel stuffs. We need organic fuel stuffs for our smelting and our mining processes. So one of the things I thought of is I don't actually mine too much. If I have to run fuel sources to where we're doing smelting or mining, I would mind if we have to do it where we're doing the smelting. Can I 
there a thing here? That would be really insane. I don't know how any sane person would find it if there's a thing here. Okay. There is more up up there? Ah. Uh, oh, I'm out of floor already? Holy crap. All right, well. Time to skadoot all the way back and get us some friggin' stuff. That's kind of the thing about power flooring is it's rare that I'm gonna need just a few pieces. Uh, very often I'm gonna need a ton of it. Nope. No. No. Oh my god. That scared me. Legit. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna like be like, well, I need friggin' another... I need the eastern wing to the museum or whatever. And then it's gonna be like, well, I need 3,000 blocks. You dig? But we got those, uh... We got delimiters in the chests, which means we're not going to overflow with it, because I don't... I, I'll tell you what. I don't need 25,000. That's for sure. Alright. What I want to do is I want to see what might be up there. Oh. There we go. I want to see if there's anything up there, up there. Yeah, fine. And we deleted all of it. Good stuff. Almost. This is a cool little, uh... Grotto is probably not the right word. I bet you this is going to take me all the way to a great. Which would be great. I don't think I've tried the charges on a great yet, have I? Okay, yep, it's hella protected. Alright, good to know. Man, such a beautiful area and there's just nothing up here. Um, I do see some flakes on the mini-map. if I can glitch out and see... Nope, okay. I don't know how the heck we did it that one time, but that was a lot of fun, for sure. Looks like over here might be a slightly more direct way to get to whatever that is. Actually... That looks like that's the other side where the... Yeah, there's nothing there. Uh, that's with the other side where the... Well, they should have talked to me before they did all this... Okay. Yep, there's the shaft. Cool. Um, it was the whole, they should have talked to me before they did all that drilling or whatever. Uh, that's, that's that area. That's that area that we were seeing right there. So there's nothing, there's nothing up there. Uh, nothing worthwhile anyway. So we'll just...
There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so back to the original conundrum, right? Uh, I got more flooring, hooray hurrah. I've been doing pretty well, I think, so far with trying to maximize space and area without being too pedantic about it. I think I've been pretty good with it. So here's what I want to figure out. Uh, I wish I had some ore on me so I could figure out timings. Primarily probably looking for just belt saturation. I think there's some iron here I can just wail on. Oh, copper, whatever. Let's just grab 10. Good stuff. Okay. Here's a bunch of fuel. 36 a minute makes 18 a minute. 36 a minute makes 18 a minute. 36 a minute makes 18 a minute. So I would need... 18... Uh, 240 divided by 18 is 10. 15? I want to say... If it, let's get the calculator out. Uh, my brain is shut. 240 divided by 18 is 13 and some change. So 13 would be enough to almost fully saturate a line. I'm going to need a boatload of these. Uh, how close are we to smelter level 2? Wrong tech tree. Okay. Fine. Uh... Fifteen will give me... I, I really don't like thirteen. Thirteen and some change. I'm either going to go fourteen to make it complete, or I'm going to go, like, twelve. I like, I like twelve a lot better. So one... That twelve, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to give plenty of room for logistical nonsense later. Okay, so that frees up, or that at least sets up a full belt. And how much... Yeah, uh, how much... Uh, 36 a minute. So you're going to need a fast inserter. Fast inserter does 40 a minute? 40 a minute, cool. Okay, so this is how this is gonna go down. Raw ore. Fuel. Raw ore. Uh, 36 a minute. Yes, we're doing it this way because of how the inputs are. So the only thing that's common among these two lines is the fuel. Then... You've got a nice little batch of smelters going now, Breaker. Don't stop. Can you can you keep with the uh, hell of a poker face? God, that made me chuckle so hard. Oh, come on with this. Okay, so we're we're at what like six smelters, nine smelters total, or something. I keep taking the wrong damn bridge. Uh, we're doing twelve. This is twenty-four. Uh, I don't know. This is already a huge step up to copper and everything, but that's about what I want. I want to make sure that we are ramped, ramped. So let's see here. Uh, 
How much? What do I need? Uh, that should be a good. That should be a good start. Now, after a bit more experience, what would be really cool is to self-contain everything. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's say I need an end product like research, right? What would be really cool is if I was like, what are all the raw things I need for research? Feed that into a system and then I build whatever the crap I want out of that. That would be really cool. That's another layout we could do for a base. As it stands for right now, I just really want to start ramping up in a lot of areas and getting some blue stuff going on, which is going to get us the monorail and all that bric-a-brac, right? Now, where's the output for fuel? Um, effectively right here. I'm almost out of power floor again. Hilarious. There, give myself a little bit of space. Nothing's, nothing's more helpful to yourself than giving yourself a little bit of space. Nope. Wrong way. Uh, alright. There we go. There's that. Cool. That's all fueled up. Now, if I want more, I could easily stack this a little more to the side. No issue. Now what I need to do is start working on... Drills. I'll take a handful of that. Thank you kindly. Super thankful I don't have to really faff about with making all the core components. Okay, that's limestone. Um, actually, before I get too, too far into new works, I should probably set up uh, more limestone production. How full are you? No, uh, sorry. Yep, you're being pulled immediately. Awesome. Okay. Two more is going to be a really good start, I think. Yes, okay. And it's on the right side. On the right side, okay. They don't have to be the same all the time, but if I can manage, I'd prefer it. Okay, how does this work? Oh, right. I keep, I keep forgetting, and then I immediately keep remembering. How about that? Okay, hit me up with some of the floor. Uh, realistically, that needs floor. None of this other stuff needs floor, for power's sake, but I do like it because it looks really good. Oh! The mouse doth swivel. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, fine.
All right. Not going to fully saturate, probably, but it'd be a good start. Um. Oh, actually, it does. Nice. Um. In that case... Oh, uh, I can't because there's already a thing here. Okay, fine. How about that? Damn it. Uh, it's because it's curving immediately? That's what it really doesn't like about this whole thing. It's because it curves right away, which is unfortunate. So, if I went like this... And like this, and like this. Yeah, now it's now it's a day at the beach. Okay. Yep. Cool. Happy, happy, happy with that. All right, on the right side, this right lane is where I'm going to most likely want copper. So I'm going to need these mining drills, and I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. The output is then going to feed into this chest, which is nowhere close enough for me to make any amount of production decisions. Um, but we'll, we'll figure it out. So there's copper. I thought there was iron over here as well. I could be very mistaken. Cute little eggy-shaped room. That's copper. Oh, it is not the same. Oh, yeah, it's the same vein. It's just a lot of it. I see something. No. Okay. Fine and fair and foo. These are the words I say to you. Fine and fair and foo. Uh, yeah, let's just get at, really. Ultimately, I don't want to have a ton of copper storage laying around. So what we're going to do is, once I get this built up, I'm actually going to strip out that box. That's holding all this copper intermediate style. Or I'll just leave the box and we'll just still feed it through anyway. Who knows? Not really feeling strongly one way or the other. Oh, I need so much power floor. Ugh. Uh, I might strip out those limiters on the power floor. Uh, I'm not gonna... Actually, how does this work? You also require a fuel. Okay. So you probably just work a lot faster than your younger counterpart. Or older counterpart. Whatever. I was hoping the level 2s were gonna be like, hey, just energy. Man, I don't... Burning fuel is, like, gross or whatever. Like, I was hoping that was going to be the conversation, but nope. Okay. Yoink, 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 yoink. That's open. Take all the things. We could probably start disassembling all the things. Is all this still working at full tilt? Kind of. It kind of is. Um, okay, I need inserters probably pretty badly. I'll take half a stack of that, sort. Stack of inserters. Good enough. And, uh, you're still making these things. I want enough so I have a stack on me at all times. Actually, we're gonna do... Nope. Nope. Oh my god. There we go. Cool. 
Okay, good stuff. A lot less crap I'm trying to make by hand, the better. Okay, actually, speaking of which, what can I start making? Uh, probably another core composer. Oh! Actually, we, we have the core whatever technology that is. How does that work? Do we know? I don't I don't know how it works. Takes resources? Not a take resources. I can take Oh, because over there. Yeah, that's fine. Um Uh I wish I knew if there's a button. Like it's showing my power. Or enables formation of core clusters from unassigned research cores and core composer. Core clusters generate bonus in alignment with activated core boost technologies. Accumulated charge required 80,000 kilowatts. We have that times like six. Um, yeah, I actually, I'm just going to look it up real quick. Tectonica core clustering. Core clustering explained. Uh, in the case of blue cores, it's a ratio of 5 to 1 for purple is 10 to 1. Having 200 purple cores gives you 20 core clusters. The current number of unassigned cores can be seen in the lower left of the tech tree. However, in order for core clusters to bring bonuses, it's necessary to develop your tech tree. Oh, okay. For example, activate a core boost smelting, increase all the smelt, blah, 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 blah. It should be noted that this functionality is still under development. Okay, cool. That answered all my questions. Um, not that it was like under development. That's still good to know also. Uh, but more importantly, I don't have any of the other researches that would use core clustering anyhow. Speaking of core clustering, we're going to do this. We're going to do the thing I said I was going to do. Um, I want to do science here eventually. Where would be a good place for a gigantic thing? Oh yeah, iron's over here. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so I got I got all the things I want right now. Um, what if I came over here and built it on top of power? That really wouldn't be going down like I want to. I really want to go down. That's my thoughts on it. So this is going to be another really big digging expedition. Well, okay. Here's kind of the catch-22, right? If I go over here and go down, what's the point if I'm not just going to use all this extra height that's already available to me? Man, placing these science things feels so weird, but it is what it is, I'm not going to cry about it. I'm going to kick and scream and moan, probably, but I'm not going to cry about it. So now I wonder how far down the game will allow us to go. I am going to actually save before we get started with this little project. Uh, I got enough coolant for what I want to do, I think. Okay, there's a little bit of that. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Here's what I want to do. Ideally, I want to find the corners of this thing. Uh, I didn't put it in my inventory. Okay, it is fairly large-ish. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, so here's what we do. Is that all the generators I can have on this side? 7 and 14? Uh, if that's all I can have, that actually helps out a little bit. No, it isn't. I could do a little more. I don't have the generators ready, so I'm not going to bother with it. Oh, uh, accumulators? Yeah, go ham on that. Always be building. 
Oh, yeah, your ABCs of Tectonica, always building constantly. There you go. I turned it into a self-help group. <laughs> yeah, it just does not like... Okay, so it's not that we were hitting the end of the world last time. It just does not like going up. For whatever reason. It does not care for it. Yeah. The wa 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 doesn't like it. Also, what's really interesting is take a look at the compass rose in the upper right. Or the compass anyway. It is losing its religion over something. <laughs> Just wa 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 wa. Yeah, only when looking up it seems. I find that interesting. Okay, how far are we in so far? Actually, go away, go away, come here, thanks. Make this a lot easier on me. Oh, it's very difficult to tell is what it is. Um, what I might do is I might go back to the old one and count, count the corners. It's a perfectly square item, so it's not, like, super long in any real direction. Yeah, okay, that still looks good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna diggity-dash back. Measure it. We'll use power floors to measure it. Uh, the power floors do really nice as a ruler tool. No matter what is within a square, it's always a square. Right? Or a, a cube, I should say. So using power floors to measure works out really well for us. So let's say... It's a 12 by 12. It's a 12 by 12. So it's probably going to be a 16 by 16... Because of spacing. Because of the gaps needed, and the belt needed, and the inserter needed, and all that crap. That's probably how that's really going to pan out. Now, ideally, I'd like to get to a point where I have multiple of these things as well. Nope. Okay, I'm never using a beacon. Get out. Well, I mean, eventually I will, but I don't need it at this moment. Okay, the number we're looking for is 16. Or 12, actually. Well, I guess 16 is the number I want. So something like that works really well. Okay, this is good enough for one, one unit of distance. Good stuff. Of all the systems that have been introduced to us so far, I think I'm going to be honest and say this is maybe one of my least favorite. I like that it's different and it regards research in a different way. Um, the only real issue is like I'm doing a lot of clearing just for science. And I feel it's natively slowing me down. Now, the way other games handle this is research is effectively gone. The second you've done the research, it just disappears. Um, Bacterio, or Satisfactory, or Factory Town, or any, whatever. The resources that you use to do the research effectively are spent when the research is conducted. So you don't have to deal with any lingering assets or items. In Factory Town, you make books. Once you've made the books, 
and you deliver the books to the people, you don't get empty books after that. They're not erasing what was in the books. That's not what's happening. You just you just spend the item, right? So this is an interesting take on it that it has some sort of pertinence with how the items are respected and used. Now, um, I would assume that maybe this game started off with, yeah, you got to place the science thing somewhere. And it's like, oh man, can you imagine how much work that would be? Like, yeah, this research needs 115 of the blue blue baubles. It's like, I'm not placing any of that crap. Forget that noise. Like, I'll just not have the research. You know what? I'll just not science anymore. I'm too good for science. No way. No way, no how am I going to research this cow? I don't know. Uh, no way, no how was really what I was getting at there. So I could really see this portion of the game being uh, really not part of it. Uh, realistically, I don't mind it. Uh, I don't mind doing this. This, Like I said, it's different. I like different. I like to see a system that's uh, put into place that is not the norm. That's pretty freaking cool. I like that. Um, if this took very much longer, I might be like, you know what? I don't want to just dig a bunch of stuff just for research. And maybe I'm doing this part wrong or I'm doing it differently. I don't even know. I don't. I don't, I haven't watched any of the videos, I haven't read any wikis. The only wiki I've read was the one I just rattled off here about the clustering. Okay, how's that looking for us now? Pretty dang sweet, yeah. Chuck that all the way in the corner. Problem. Okay. Now, what I wanted to do is I want to use this as a template. So at this very moment, I'm leaving this here. I can just look down and be like, oh yeah, we're still in the car, uh, uh, car, core, core composer. Car composer? From the makers of Bach, Beethoven, comes the car composer. What do you want? Santa Fe? Boom. I'm the car composer. Uh, there is- oh, actually, now that I think about this, there is a button I have not tried yet. There is a spawn button. I wonder if that could do us some good. Just to kind of cheese our way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down. I'm gonna dig down, 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 down. As far as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna place a core composer, and I'm hopefully gonna be like, yeah, that should settle our metal for a while on some research. Am I at the end? I am, okay. Uh, that should settle some metal for us for a while. That's the hopeful plan. Um, then I was going to have to dig my way out, but maybe instead of digging my way out, all I do is I do is I hit the respawn button. Yeah, this is way easier than trying to climb all the frick back up that hill. Where we have the other one. Forget that noise. Forget that noise 100%. Uh, it was good while it lasted. For sure. For sure and for certain, it, it was good while it lasted. But now it's time to level up some science. So 5x5 five five is 25. Uh, yep, perfect. 5x5 five five is 25. Every row gives us 25 more storage. So that's kind of what I'm trying to think here, is I probably have... I don't know, 150 storage here? Like, that sounds like a big number. It's not a big number. I wonder if I should have just been using, uh, charges. I wonder if that would have been way smarter. Uh, anyway, I'm also hoping to move science over here because I've been taking a very lax approach to science. It's been, 
A, I've understandably got a lot of other crap going on and a lot of other stuff to do. So if it takes a little bit for science to really come full full to fruition, it's not it's not a big deal. I don't know if it's picking up on the microphone, but there are sirens going absolutely crazy behind me. Okay. That's the full height. That's the full deal. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to need... Uh, there's the corner. Uh, a little wide, but that's okay. There we are. So a little cathartic, yeah? Something you could do to relax? All for science, lads. All for science. Yeah, this is far faster than trying to dig up, I think. Oh, looks like I went a little too far on this one. Not really bad or anything. Like, I already have the corner designated. So as long as we stay true to that corner, we should be fine. Did the piece go? Oh! Oh! I went way, way, way too far. Holy crap! See, honestly, these charges are adorable, but I don't think they're any much faster. I gotta be close enough to hit the detonate button, but not close enough that I get got. It's adorable. Whoa, what the hell? What happened here? Huh. Weird. These things seem a little more potent than they were a second ago. Weird. Okay, uh, whatever. Um, I still think we're in good shape? Yeah, alright, you know what, the charges are better. I'll... I'll buy it. I'll buy that for a dollar. I still get the resources too? Excellent. I think I knew that before, but now seeing it in such volume makes this a little faster. Man, I don't know what's going on behind me, but it is... It's not the 4th of July or some holiday or something like that. But something is losing its biscuits over something. Okay, so to mark this proper... There's how we're gonna get stuff up and out. Yeah, 
Yeah, this got a little crazy. This is much faster than the mule, holy crap. Huh. I wonder why sometimes it, it... It feels like the blast holes are fairly irregular. Oh, sometimes it's a small smoothly boop, and then sometimes it's this huge... Uh, deep chasm of sorts. It's almost like it's got weird Bomberman logic. If that makes sense. Super Bomber... Super Bomberman? Regular Bomberman? A Bomberman game. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain to anyone that's not 50 or whatever what Bomberman is. Fairly popular 2D game? Sounds good, Granddad. That it's that kind of a thing, right? How? Okay. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, we'll do this till the wheels fall off and the mining charges run out. How? See what I'm saying? That's crazy. How does it go? How does it? I mean, if I could repeat that, that would save me a stupid amount of time. Kind of feels like I can. Okay, I need to get out of this. Huh. Yeah, it seems to be doing much better now. I think I think what's happening is I'm learning how to place the things and not they're doing their job worse or better. The corner is around... Oh, there it is. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Still not quite there yet. Nope. Down. Nope. Uh, close. We're getting- we're getting there. That appears as if that is all connected. Uh... We could go down a bit more. I'm kind of happy for this to be my first draft. Okay, how does this look now? Personnel blocking construction. Yeah, you don't say. Valid placement. Okay, did I not give us enough room? Okay, this is kind of what I was afraid of, going a little willy-nilly with the, uh... 
the explosives. Explosives are fun, don't get me wrong. They're part of a balanced breakfast and all that. But they can be a little dodgy. Can be a little dodgy. Alright, quick water break here and a stretch. Holy cow. Ho oh, ho hum. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so yeah, if that's the corner, then all this has to go. What I'm hoping is this is going to give it plenty of room to build up, and then, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Make things easier, I guess. Still have to spend an amount of time setting this up. Um, I also have to figure out how to get the baubles down here. The actual research baubles themselves. So that's going to be another sticky wicket as well. Now what we could do is we could actually just make this blue bauble town and leave the purples back at the main base. Am I over encumbered? Uh, kind of, even though inventories lie. This is the right, yeah, this is this is the way. This is the correct path. Uh, maybe when we get better jump and better hover and better stuff like that, better utilities of that of that nature, maybe this will be just trivial where I can just pop up, float, or whatever. Maybe we'll get better mining tools as well. Who knows? Again, kind of the fun of playing a game blind is I don't know what to expect. I don't know how to min-max. I'm playing the game as if it just was handed to me. And that's, just, I mean, it wasn't really handed handed to me because internet and things or whatever. Uh, but you get the idea, right? I hope. It was valid at a place and I'm going to find that place. There it is. Okay. Thank you. It should be connected if I place a... Valid place. Oh. Uh, power disconnected. Okay. Yeah, that's that makes perfect sense as to why you would say that. I'm just looking for any machine that will actually take power. Uh, you won't. You will. No power. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll get it figured out. Get it figured out. But ideally, this is kind of how we're going to do this from now on. Uh, actually, this doesn't have to be this way, but that's okay. Uh, I can't really go too much farther in that direction. Don't forget, I gotta figure out how to sanity check these items back down here. Um, alternative idea is boring, but what I could do is I could just produce it up there and haul it down. But that's boring, and I don't want to do that.
I'm gonna feel a lot better once I plug this in and it says it's actually plugged in. Ah, uh, boo. What are we missing? I'm so overcumbered. Oh. I could have sworn I powered all that floor. Okay, we're gonna go dump off some crap. Uh, and we're gonna see what the haps. We're gonna see just what the haps. Uh, slow. Oh my god. We get so much limestone. So, so, so much. It's ridiculous. I like to think that it's ridiculous. Friggin' ridiculous. I wonder if I can make that jump. Famous last words, right? Huh! Nope. Hover. Hover. Hover pants. Hover pants are saving my pants. No! I will say I do really, really appreciate the inventory overload functionality. As weird as that might sound. Uh, but I've played plenty of games that just throw contents of items on the ground and it's like, pick it up. And I'm like, you could have just said I couldn't lift that or something, but you didn't have to be a jerk about it. Way to be a jerk about it, being a jerk about it. Alright, I do want to plant these, and I am using the word plant. Uh, seven days to die kind of works that way. <laughs> Whoops, I guess you can't carry this anymore. <laughs> it's on the floor now. Pick it up, you weirdo. It's just like, you could have just... Aw. Well, that's a different kind of game entirely anyway. Does it have to be two squares? I'm still kind of spellbound that I can't make it... I can't squeezel my way through that. And that's it. Cool. That's another 18. That puts our power at uh, 760 megawatts. And we're still like 7 or 8 megawatts not in use. Awesome. What other crap do I have I can get rid of so I'm not overflowing immediately? Can I trash stuff? No, I don't actually... I don't actually think so. Interesting. Oh, what do I need for more of uh, these things? Frames. I'm not making frames right now. I'll need to for the next tech level, but I'm not making them at this moment. Okay, so now. How now, brown cow? How we get this d Oh, damn it. Okay, good stuff. How do we get belts down here? Uh, I could probably just use this I made. Was intended for me, but I don't think that much matters. Okay, what part of you is, like, not working? Power, zero. Okay, no power. There's something that's not connected that ought to be connected. This main pylon is what has to be... It looks very connected. Is it not connected over here? It is. Um, alright. These belts do not mean... They're not indicative of power. This is, though. Yellow. Oh, I see it. Yep. Okay, that's still... There, that's the piece. There we go, okay. That's on, that's up, good stuff. Now, if I want to do this again, I could just keep going in a direction. 
I guess, and then uh, lay down another one, right? Like, this is far enough away from things, I guess. That was the plan? That was the plan with a really big question mark. That was, like, like somebody else came up with the attack, the attack formation. It's like, what was the plan? We have a, hold, hold on, we have a plan? Hold on. Who, who didn't cool JMEGs in on the scheme? What's going on? I thought we were out to get pizza. Now we're gonna go rob a guy? Like, what's going on? Oh, I just wanted a pizza, not to be a he part of a heist. I mean, no, heists sound great. I just don't have the energy right now. I'm, I'm heist, I'm heist out. I'm heisted, I'm heisted out of, out of heist. <laughs> ah, see this? And I point to, like, my bicep or something. Ah, fresh out of heist. All right, um, I'm going to start taking apart copper production. Um, right, you can't run and check your inventory at the same time. Right, right, right. That's totes, fine. Uh, but I am going to start doing... Nope, that's not what I wanted. We might re redo the mining here eventually. Where it stands for right now, though, is I don't really want to have a ton of chests with extra stuff in them. Call me weird, but that's where I'm at. Okay, you can have two. I have a lot of ore. Holy buckets. Okay. That maintains the continuity of everything else I'm working on. I would like some of this. Just stash that somewhere, please. Uh, belts, inserters, chippies. I'm pretty darn good on everything else. Pretty darn good on everything else. Alright, so I've torn up all copper... All copper mining there. So we're going to go from three smelters to 12. No, to 24. Oh, come on. Uh, no, three to three to 12 at a minimum. Uh, still, three to 12 is a factor of four. That's pretty awesome. There's that. Now I want to get some mining set up before I think about wrapping this up as a episode. Uh, we got our flooring, good stuff. Oh, is this a scan guy? The reason you have to scan something is because it's broken. That's why you have to scan a thing. By looking at a, la a light, a lamp or whatever, it's incredibly unclear that it's broken because it's still kicking out light, right? That's where my brain is at. So I'm looking at the thing and I'm like, scan it. Or no, uh, decommission it. Just deconstruct it. Let's get out of here. We got stuff to do. It doesn't work that way because it's actually broken. See? That. There we go. So the interesting, interesting thing is I get my light stick back. It's good stuff. Okay. So now... Drill my boys. Uh, I only had three uh, harvesters also, so this is going to be really good. Okay, I think we did fuel inserting on the right. 
Uh, here. Here's this is fuel. How much can you kick out? 45 a minute. So, yes. I need a fast inserter and a long inserter. For all intents and purposes. This is also going to be 100% fed from our new bio brick system. So that's going to be also really, really super cool. Because it all just handles out all of that. Let's see here. Uh... No? No. Nope. Close. Not quite either. See, I really don't want it doing that. That's something that's driving me a little crazy. So we gotta go one extra square? Okay, well I know how we fixed this before. <laughs> what the crap? Was it like that? Well, that didn't even work. Huh. Might have to double check and see how we're gonna fix this. Unsure. Or not sure, I should say. Nope. Okay, what if I do this part first? That worked. Okay, cool. That works out Jim Dandy. Yep, cool. All right. Um, I think you're doing this wrong. There we go. Okay, I must have put these in the wrong way. Okay, you're fine. You're not set up. Oof. Light up the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. That looks like somebody cares and owns the joint, right? Alright, how does this link up to that? Just like that? Cool. Okay, we got ore. I need ore and I need everything else. So I kind of envisioned ore to be on this side. Because what, I, what I'm kind of feeling is we're going to set up some logistical things. And it's going to come here eventually. That's my thought about it. So that's why I have it feeding from this side instead of feeding from the other side. So even though we've got a coal mine down here, or copper mine, and we get, we're going to use the copper down here. Even though that's the case, um, I kind of feel like stuff is going to be a little more coming through on the other side. So this is... Copper ore... going... Uh, back to base. There's that. Cool. Now all I need is biomass coming out to the system. So we've already got this here, so I'm just gonna... Now, I'm probably sure this has to switch sides. I wasn't really paying attention. But right there is a good start. It certainly will have to switch sides. I'm not looking for finesse when it comes to our mining ops. Cool. Alright.
Yep, there's all that sweet biomass, there's all that sweet ore. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. Ups it easy. There it is. So there's copper storage. Again, realistically, what I could do is I could stop all this. So I might just do that. Wait for this chest to really burn down and then just plug that line right into the main and don't store anything. The storages were pretty important for the game to get started. So I'd at least have stuff ready and I could dump it off and be like, boom, mass produce me all the things. 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 You get the idea, right? The heck? What are you attached to? Oh, I wonder why it I wonder why it specifically rotated and attached that way. Cool. Worked that time. Alright. Good stuff. So, uh, this episode we've really been working on getting... Uh, smelting? We got a lot of smelting set up. Uh, don't even know how often it's gonna be used. Probably very infrequently until we get more of this going. Um, but there's that. Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't really think of. Uh, now that I really think about it, I only looked at the export of copper, not the import. Uh, meaning... 36 a minute. 10 of these is gonna be too much for this style of belt. And I built 12. Oh, wow. Eight, actually, is too much. Um, okay. It's not a big deal. The smelters just won't be used. We'll upgrade to a better belt, and we'll fix that crap later. Fix that, we'll fix that crap later. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah, we'll fix that crap later. Uh, now that I think about it, there's no way there's going to be enough raw materials on the line ever for those things to be at full capacity. So I actually did all the math for the output, not the input. Boohoo, we'll be we'll survive. We'll be fine. Uh, just in case I'm ever gonna come back and be like, this is not putting up to par. What the f? That's the f. That's the whole f. The entire the entire f, and everything but the f. Okay. Let's see here. 45, 45, 45. So 90, 180, uh, 225. That's actually pretty close for a single belt saturation for five machines. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's close. It's not, it's not fully there, but it's close. Um, so that definitely is going to take care of my copper forever and ever. Amen. Cool. Alright, good stuff. Uh, was thinking, honestly, a second line of copper. 
two lines of iron. So one, three, one. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. So that's two lines of iron. And we've got pl we got so much room. We have so much room. We can just keep taking. There's an abundance of this stuff, man. So right there is probably enough for a run of Atlant. Whatever. <laughs> Atlantan, Atlant, whatever. <laughs> Atlant. I think it's Atlantan ore. There we go. I think I almost kind of got it. Uh, yeah, that's still dumping stuff off. Eventually, we're going to run out of stuff here, and that's fine. That's kind of the intention. I kind of want to bleed out the lines here, shift everything to the new area. Um, we're going to do... One. Two. I want to start trimming down some of this here. Do I have to? Absolutely not. I don't have to trim out any of this stuff if I don't want to. Uh, but I think I want to start doing that anyway. So trim down, trim down, trim down. Um, I probably have a crap ton of iron in this chest. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing it to the other area. Yeah, I do. I'm bringing it to the other area. Um, sorry, there is a helicopter nearby, and it is loud as hell. Um, what was I trying to say? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring all this iron to the new base, and the thing is, like, I very soon want to start my own manufacture there of materials. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to haul a bunch of stuff back. Now, you might say, John, resources are limitless. Who cares? I mean, I guess I don't really care care. Uh, I just... I kind of like to keep a neat and orderly house. I don't really like to have eight or nine junk chests. It kind of it kind of irks me a bunch. Um, I'm not perfect. I get that. I'm not. I'm not like everything has a place in every place for everything or something. Like I'm not. Not that at all. I, I like to think I'm tidy. I like to think I'm kind of tidy as a person. I like to think like I've I've got, you know, a bit of a tidy tidiness bug, and I'm not saying like crazy, crazy particular, but I do like keeping a tidy stuff. And like yeah, we've already maxed out this chest more or less. Uh, sort. Give me all that. You can have what's left. Give me all of that. You can have what's left. Okay, that fills up my inventory real proper with a lot of crap I want to make. This is still doing this. I need to start concerning myself with frames and other things. The wooden frames and stuffs. I really need to start worrying about that. How much are we on fuel anyway? Very good on fuel. Wow. Yeah. I don't think we could have gotten this far on plant matter, meaning I think what would have really happened is we would just be gobbling it up off the line so fast it wouldn't it wouldn't get get very far. Holy crap. Bundles for days, yo. Bundles for days. You can have that. Um uh, I wouldn't mind more Kindle Vine extract. I didn't go far enough. Get rid of some of these seeds. Okay, I'll just put it in the chest. It's fine. How many seeds do I have ready anyway? 38. Uh, that doesn't count what's on the line. Uh... Yeah, we're not keeping up at all. Nope. Nope, we're not keeping up with any of that at all. That's insane. 
So like I was saying before, if ever I want to really cut down this process, I could just shut down half the line by doing this. Boop. Gone. There's, we cut down production 50%. It'll just eventually wean out, and that'll be that. So that's something we can easily do if we find that we're really overproducing on a lot. That's so much. Holy crap. It's so much stuff, man. It's so much stuff. I like stuff. <laughs> if, uh, if you ever know anything about me, I do enjoy gadgets and just stuff. I like for stuff to be in spaces and things, but stuff. Okay, so we're going to set up... You need what for the frames? Where are the frames? There you are. Plant matter fiber makes frames. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, are these all limestone? Great, because they're absolutely in my way. <laughs> How many what's do you need every what's this? 60 a minute? Uh, cool. Actually works out really well for what I want to accomplish. Uh, 60 a minute means three regular inserters. And you output how much? Uh, 15 a minute? Oh, uh... I guess it doesn't super matter. Okay, so this is actually going to be finally put into practice what I've wanted with some of these items. So that is the that. These four are going to be all of these plant matter fibers. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something like this. We're going to come out a little bit. Oh, what? What? There you go. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with that was. Uh, at this juncture, the items are sorted already. So there's nothing that really has to be further sorted or processed. When I'm interfacing with the boxes, I know exactly what's in the boxes. That's going to push whatever resources I want to whatever the hell I want them. And now we're going to start making those frames again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, because I don't have a place to put them right now. Um, they'd be good to have a lot of, but I don't have any place to put them or use them or utilize them or anything. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. And that's going to start making the things. That's going to start kicking out. Right now, this is already three times the production than we had before. So it might not seem like a lot, like we're doing two things, and three things, and two things, and whatever. It might not seem like a lot, but like, from our bootstrap base, this is already a significant improvement. Just crazy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call us an episode here. Yeah, I think so. Lots of great stuff. Uh, we figured out a smelting array, even if it's a little bit on the overkill side, that's okay. Uh, we got copper relocated, we tidied up iron a little bit, we opened a door, uh, maybe that was last episode, I don't know. Anyway, we got a lot done, good stuff. So thank you all for joining me, name's John Megacycle, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.